And, and do you prefer to have SDRs in marketing or under sales? Oh boy, this is a <laughs> this is an interesting topic. Um, oh, I, I currently the situation I'm in currently is that the SDRs are part of the marketing department, and I think here here's where I draw the line. I prefer them in in startups, especially as under sales, because I think their role is primarily an outbound role. And a lot of this has to do with what is going on at your company, right? Is there is there a lot of lead flow and they need to be qualified? Are you doing a lot of events? Is there a, you know, a PLG motion in place where somebody needs to grab those? That's totally different than we are in a scaling, trying to set up new opportunities kind of a role. And in that case, they get the most, I believe, out of being part of the sales org. Now, whether they report to me or not, I always include them in all of my stuff. So when we do trainings, when we do updates, when I do all hands, the SDRs are all there anyways. So I sort of just expect them to be a part of my group and we include them in, in all of those scenarios. Yeah. And, and I find myself regularly um, negotiating their comp plan because I need their comp plan to match with what we need in sales. That's That to me is where the rubber meets the road with the SDRs. Not so much about where they report, but what does their comp plan look like? Tell me more about that then. Uh, well, a lot of it has to do with what I was talking about before. If they are only compensated on getting a new meeting and they don't care what the outcome is or they don't care that it actually was quality, then we're going to be missing all day long and I'm going to be in their ear constantly. But when it's set up like it is where I am now, that they are uh, expected to do quality ones, high level ones. Actually, going back to Vontu, one of the things we did at Vontu is we had extra money if you got a CISO on the line, right? I love that kind of stuff. What is it you're trying to accomplish? And what are you doing in terms of the comp plan to make sure that that happens? So continuing it through the, through the cycle is, I think, really, really important from an SDR perspective because then they, then they focus on quality. I like that concept, right? Not all prospects are created equal uh, and some are really mm-hmm. hard to get. And wouldn't it be good if your comp took a little bit differently on the CISO versus the, the manager? Um, and maybe the type of company as well, right? As close as possible to the bullseye of the ICP, uh, you get paid more and then for incentives are, are aligned. Mm-hmm. At, uh, at Expel, my last company, we did a tiered approach to on that. So we had a tier one account and a tier two account. A tier three account, they only got paid on when it actually moved into a demo. Other than that, they were highly motivated to get a tier one and a tier two when we matched those to our ICP. 